in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed it says, I have made the earth, the man and the beast that are upon the ground by my great power and my outstretched arm. It says, and I have given it to whom it seemed meet unto me. The same power that I used to make the earth and heavens, I give it to whom it seemed good to me. That means I fed people. I can't trust someone with something so precious. There is something about your heart your heart for God Lord I'm available I'm available the heart condition is the first requirement you want to encounter the spirit of power you must trust God to check your heart and vet the sincerity of your motives listen carefully the sincerity of your motive. I want power because I want a name. Forget it. Not this end time. God is too serious for that kind of joke. I want power because I want to also be a... <clears throat> Whoever you want to heal, Lord, you can heal through me. Whoever you want to bless, Lord, you can bless through me. That's the kind of heart. As the deer pants after the water brooks, Lord, it is you or nothing else. Ah, it is you or nothing else. Thank God for money. Thank God for fame. It is you or nothing else. And God says, you are doing this for me. You are ready to experience power like never before. Please hear me. Let me speak especially those of us who are in ministry. You've heard me preach many messages about the heart. Believe me, I have read my Bible a bit and I have walked with God a bit. The greatest second to none determinant of the dealings of God with men as far as the investment of power and being used as a witness is not his love because the same Lord is rich unto all. But what distinguishes men into spiritual cadres is number one, the state of your heart. You can be so qualified like Eliab and God will reject you, looking for a smelly shepherd because he has seen your heart. It was David who wrote his sin and offense and said they should read it as a song. He was not even embarrassed about it. That is a kind of heart condition and God said, you are a man after my heart. Number two. The second dimension, if you want to encounter the spirit of power, I'm still on point one. Maybe that can be one A now, and this is one B. Prayer and fasting. The ministry of prayer and fasting is directly connected to spiritual power prayer with fasting Luke chapter 1 for the sake of time we'll read 1 2 and 14 Luke chapter 4 1 2 13 or 1 2 14 the Bible says, and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from the Jordan and was led by the same spirit he was full of into the wilderness. 
you would think the coming of the Holy Spirit would be the end of it. He was full of the Holy Spirit and by the leadership of the Holy Spirit, he was led, verse 2. The Bible says, and being 40 days tempted of the devil, in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended afterwards, he was hungered. Fasting, praying are irrefutable biblical keys as far as access to power is concerned. Now I tell you, fasting is not everything. Prayer is not everything. They have their roles, the major roles they have to play. But when it has to do with the ministry of power, forget it. If you do not submit yourself to the ministry of prayer and fasting. Praying one day will not bring you power. Praying six months will not bring you power. The, the power that comes through prayer requires consistency until you become a slave to that dimension. Then you are endued with power. Please hear me believers, this is how we started. I know you have heard me say I'm a product of many anointings. Don't think I was just lying down and various hands were laid on me. No sir. You can meet the most anointed man in the world and receive nothing when your capacity has not been enlarged. Was Jesus not around Judas? Was Jesus not around Thomas? Why didn't they receive? power prayer and fasting a generation that understands how to pray with understanding is a generation that will access power show me a man of God that commands spiritual power with no honor to the ministry of prayer and fasting I show you a dimension of an operation of a spirit not the spirit of God if it's the spirit of God it will respond to the ministry of prayer and fasting prayer and fasting whatever attacks your prayer life has attacked your potential to encounter the power dimension of the Spirit of God he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint there are men of God who do not submit themselves to intense moments and seasons of prayer and wonder why certain spiritual possibilities don't happen and just generalize it and think everybody who walks in power is just faking it no there are there is an investment of prayer sacrifice with fasting let me tell you food is good but food can be dangerous if you don't have an appetite you don't have the power to tame it are we together yes sir I know there are all kinds of arguments in the body of Christ about fasting that's not my assignment tonight but I'm telling you, if it is authentic spiritual power, power as of old you are looking for, the ministry of prayer with fasting. There are people, if by 7 a.m. in the morning you don't eat, it will be as if you are having headache. It's a spirit, I assure you. Even medically, it's not even absolutely correct. The day you don't want to fast, you can stay even by 4 p.m. and forget. But the day you say, I will fast. 7.30. And some of you will use Tom Tom or Zobo to break that fast. Is that normal? Is that what will satisfy your hunger? It's a spirit. Let me tell you the truth. There is no gift of fasting. Fasting, all kinds of fasting take discipline. Let no one make you feel that there's an, an extra grace. There is no record of any unusual grace for fasting in the Bible. Fasting affects your spirit, soul, and body. You will feel tired. You will feel the weight of hunger. But it takes you placing value. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross and despised the shame. For someone God is speaking to you, gluttony is what is eating your potential for genuine spiritual power. Talk to spirits. They talk back to you. They keep quiet. Even we are spirits who are not eating. You who wants to cast. <laughs> you don't just tell somebody, come. You don't just speak and you see, people are just shouting. It takes more than laying on of hands, my brother. There is a testament. Praying, fasting. Many of us, if we check your prayer account, you don't have up to 1,000 naira. 
How much? And yet, you want to buy houses in the spirit? You want to buy estates? You are joking. With 1,000? Even in a credit system, the bank will not give you money with that kind of bad account. You need to up your game. Wake up in the night. Sala sapakatoshiata. Rakata brandeke bakosatia lakatoshia. Wake up in the night. Wake up in the night. Shake slumber out of your body. Wake up in the night. Pray. Pray with seriousness. Don't pray while browsing. You are playing. Don't pray while running around, answering a call and coming back. If it is time to pray, shut down everything. Nothing else matters. Nothing else counts. I'm in the presence of my maker. Lord, I pray concerning this assignment that you have for me. Who but you can empower a man to take the nations. Lord, there are sick bodies that need to be healed. There are lives and destinies. Only God knows how many dead bodies have been allocated for your anointing to raise back. Only God knows how many wheelchairs are the mercy of your spiritual development. Lord, for my sake, for, for the sake of your name, move, move in and through my life. And one night you will go to pray like every other night. Except that while you are praying, something happens to you that did not happen before. And you will know something has come upon you. The next time you stand before people, God's people, He will honor you. You run away from Him in the secret and want to play church and think He will just honor you in the presence of people. You are playing games. You see, we keep making a fool of ourselves because we think that God plays all kinds of games and gimmicks. You think you just stand before people talking and you see people shouting up and down? You try it. You must pray. You must pray. There are times you need to settle down. Pray. Carry your vision. What God has given you. Place it on the ground and pray. Lord, you told me my assignment is to raise my five children. They will not fail. Father, you sent me as, as an apostle, as a prophet, as an evangelist for your glory as I travel from nation to nation. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, let the two lift gates of the cities be open for the gospel. Let there be healings. Lord, you have made me a worshiper. Listen, hold on one minute. Let me talk to you, my dear worship people. Pray, oh, don't just have good voices for songs. You see, let me tell you why many, many, many people who sing don't bless people. They don't pray. They only train their voice. Voice training Without a track record of solid prayer, the deficiency will show on stage, no matter how you twist your voice. You are leading praise and worship. You don't just rehearse and clear your voice and take lemon and honey and come and sing. You are dealing with spirits. You are dealing with destinies. Take out time and pray. From that place of prayer, the difference will be very clear that you are carrying something on your head. Please, my dear people, pray. Worship team, pray. God is raising you. It's not only your songs. It is prayer that puts something on that song. More than melodies. And you stand to lead worship. And as you just raise one song, the glory that emanates from your prayer altar through your voice just sweeps across the place and you are seeing sick bodies getting healed you are not even aware just one song and they say what kind of a worshiper are you it's beyond songs beyond songs it is in the place of prayer you will receive many songs there are songs you don't have the brain to compose they will come by the spirit sometimes you will fall asleep while praying and then you will hear the angels are singing Hosanna in the heights the angels are singing 
you will not hear any angel with spiritual unseriousness no prayer and fasting please pray I will not give you rules but let me challenge you if you are a serious Christian this is my personal opinion at least there should be a day once a week for you to fast if that is too much then forget about revival believe me this is not a doctrine I'm giving you there's no place like that in scripture but I'm telling you any as if you are called into ministry let me challenge you and, and, and admonish you by the message of God except you want to make mockery of yourself and make mockery of the name of the Lord through your life there is a level of stamina you have to trust God for grace to tame food it is good to eat I'm not one of these people that advocate people have died through carelessness and died the death of fools that's not what I'm teaching you you want to lay hands on the sick and see miracles you want to speak the word of God and let it come with power man of God pray there are some of us who are young we are just starting and already we are careless one month no prayer no fasting and I hope you know that fasting is not just a time where you abstain from food and sleep you are not fasting albeit that is important for your health but that is not fasting when there is no prayer what study and worship you did not fast let me repeat when there is no prayer word study and worship you did not fast no matter even if you do 48 hours 72 hours that was spent sleeping if there is no prayer word study and worship you did not fast so just because you slept by nine and woke up by four and slept back again and woke up quarter to five and already started arranging your food waiting for six on the dot of course God will honor you he's merciful but I am telling you that's not fasting and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in give us verse 14 Luke 4 14 let's hurry up Luke 4 14 and Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit in verse 1 he was driven by the Spirit full of the Spirit but the Bible does not mention power verse 14 having prayed and fasted even though with the Spirit he returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And the Bible says there went out a fame of him throughout all the region round about. I believe in the ministry of fasting and prayer. Please submit yourself. Fasting is not for men of God. Fasting is not for those in trouble. Fasting is not for those that the doctors say they have diabetes or they have, you know, something that is wrong with them medically. Fasting is for all men. I truly believe that. Prayer with fasting. Prayer with fasting. Prayer with fasting. Hallelujah. If you are pregnant and you have children, don't worry, we'll fast for you. Our fasting will cover you. And even children too can fast. Let me tell you, don't over pamper your children until spirits enter them. Children can fast. You can, they can fast and end by 12. It does not kill them. Don't say my child is too small. Let him grow. By the time he grows, he already has. Do you think that it was a legion that entered the madman in Gadara in one day? They kept coming and calling themselves and said, this man is an available tool until they became a legion. Encounter with the spirit of power. Number two, the second platform. I hope you got my arrangement. That I'm giving you three biblical platforms for accessing power with God. 
number one is through encounters encounter with the spirit of power and that there are two conditions you want to encounter the spirit of God with his power your heart condition and then the ministry of prayer and fasting number two the second platform for accessing power is power that is accessed through the understanding of scripture there is a dimension of power that is accessed through the understanding of scripture you can also put in bracket comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom the second level of spiritual power is accessed through understanding of scripture understanding the mysteries of the kingdom the principles of the kingdom have within them a measure and a dimension of God's power already pre-programmed please listen you can access a dimension of spiritual power based on light illumination that comes from scripture Acts chapter 20 and verse 32 it says and now brethren I commend you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance it takes power for you to walk in that inheritance and that because you have embraced the word of God it is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified second Peter chapter 3 and verse 18 second Peter 3 18 it says but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ to him be glory both now and forever amen grow in grace and in the knowledge the original rendition there is not just grow in grace and in the knowledge it is growing grace through the knowledge grow in grace and your growth in grace comes through knowledge the higher your level of light the higher the spiritual power that you command are we together now yes there are things you need to know about the kingdom the way the kingdom was built advancement and power is light dependent to the degree to which you access the scriptures that means if someone comes and he said listen there is darkness in this and that area of my life I need help you must have the level of spiritual understanding to be able to guide them to access the power of God that comes through knowledge fight ignorance fight ignorance fight ignorance believers obtain grace to study and that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture which is able to make you wise unto salvation you must obtain grace to have high level spiritual illumination this is the reason why coming to the house of God is very important because the house of God affords you very cheaply the privilege of being methodically mentored, guided in partnership with the Holy Spirit. When he, the spirit of truth is come, before the Holy Spirit came as the spirit of power in Acts chapter 2, Jesus told us that he will come and guide us. You're not going to walk in spiritual power in ignorance. It will be a risk for you to be a powerful but ignorant believer power comes with light light power comes with illumination and jesus himself the powerful knew what he would do is god speaking to someone power for instance there are certain possibilities in the kingdom that if you just have wisdom that comes through the word you will know what to do let me show you a scripture I found this scripture and it really blessed me Proverbs 3 35 while I was preparing this note I just stumbled across this scripture and it ministered so deeply to me and I added it among the scriptures it says the wise shall inherit glory but shame shall be the promotion of fools the wise you will always see the glory of God around the life and the corridors of wisdom the wisdom that comes through the word it's impossible for your life to not capture and manifest the glory of God if you submit to the wisdom of the word financial glory glory in terms of influence whatever it is the power of God revealed 
through your life by reason of accessing wisdom for instance if doors have been closed against you and you are trusting God for open doors it's not just the issue of demons and casting out demons maybe you do not have the wisdom to understand the gift and the ministry of men hallelujah oh Lord send somebody to my life to help me and God says that dimension of power is released through understanding the favor of God can come and wait at the corridor of your destiny for many years but because you have not gone to understand the dynamics honor value see your destiny helper can come sent by God to beautify and glorify your life but you use your mouth you use carelessness you use dishonor and lack of discernment to recycle seasons of pain you can pray and fast but because you do not understand the principles of scripture. Hallelujah. This is very important. You must learn the ways of God. There are many of you who don't read books. You don't study any material. You don't learn. The Bible says buy the truth and sell it not. It takes hunger and diligence. Please go online and listen to my message. Buy the truth. I preached it in Takoradi in Ghana. Buy the truth. It's a very, I listed there in that teaching five currencies that we use to buy the truth. Hunger, meekness, honor. These are currencies that we use to buy the truth. You must passionately learn. Learn the things that you do not know. Knowledge is available. Knowledge is more available today than it was any time in history. It takes humility and a recognition that if I do not know and I remain in darkness, anything you want to learn today, it is available. You want to make yourself more valuable, even physically, it is available. Your destiny helper comes to your house. And you don't know how to cook and you say God will favor me you did not bless the person are you not in trouble can't you go and meet somebody to learn how to cook as a way of preparing to honor your destiny helper a man old enough to be your father comes to your house and after two hours you give him a cup of cold water and he says God forbid <laughs> hallelujah You do not understand the principles of relationship and courtesy to greet. Those little, little things can rob you of the power of God. You may not see the power that is invested through knowledge. Believers, please hear me. You must understand the word dimension of the power of God. Go for the word. I immerse myself in knowledge. The knowledge of scripture and then wisdom from men and women with proven track records it's not only god i want to know i want to know the men i am sent to i want to understand how men think i want to understand the principles of influence i want to understand leadership i want to understand how to impact people it's not an impartation it comes by knowledge go and buy books go online settle down give yourself revelation projects and settle down and learn if you're with me say amen. amen please obtain grace to learn obtain grace to learn don't be lazy reject laziness it is of the devil it is a robber and a destroyer of beauty and color from a destiny a lazy generation that just believes in impartation alone will only be making a mockery of themselves let me tell you sincerely it is often said on easy lies the head that wears the crown if you're a man of god the only thing you learn is not, it's not only prayer and fasting and bible study you learn you must learn administration you must learn finances you must learn leadership you must learn people skills are we together there are all kinds of veterans of leadership within this ministry. Go and subscribe for their programs and learn and build capacity. Sometimes we suffer the pain of a generation that does not want diligence, but we want results. Oh God, it doesn't matter how you do. Let me just see the results. I know you are merciful. The mercy of God is not a license for foolishness. 
let me tell you the truth a diligent hand shall be made fat there are many lazy preachers I'm sorry to say there are many lazy business people you want to have influence over people it is not only anointing you will need an empty and a dull head nobody will come and submit to any leadership that does not have capacity people are intelligent people don't forget that some of the people you will find around you are also leaders in their corporations conglomerates they have children some of them are employers of people to the thousands they will not come and sit down under a leader that does not know what he's saying there has to be a high level of advanced developed intelligence your mind must be alive not your spirit alone and it takes diligence receive grace to be diligent shout a loud amen receive grace to be diligent avoid premature manifestation if you are not ready sit down when you are ready the door will open if the door is closed is god's mercy keeping you so that you don't rubbish the opportunity he's giving you sit down sit down and learn make up your mind that when god brings you to your season of appearance you will not bring shame and reproach to yourself and to the name of Christ. Hallelujah. The understanding of scripture empowers men to release that dimension of God's power. The Bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty, to penury. That means if you are a greedy person who is always withholding, forget about increase. Whether it is in the secular or in the kingdom, you see, giving is one of the major active ingredients as far as kingdom wealth and prosperity is concerned. God will not trust you. I hope you know that wealth in the kingdom is not an achievement. No. Maybe in the world it will be, but in the kingdom, wealth is a trust from God. A man can receive nothing except it is given to him from above. And there are conditions that must be met. God loves everybody, but according to Matthew chapter 25, I think from verse 16 or so, the parable of the talents, the Bible tells us very clearly that he gave unto one five talents, he gave unto one one talent, uh, two talents, he gave unto one one talent, according to their several abilities, not according to his love for them. He loved all of them, but he gave them according to their capacities. And at the end of the story, we see that he was just and fair to have done that. In the kingdom, God will not cast his spell before swine. You want God to commit to you the grace for nations and territories. It has to rise and match your level of spiritual and intellectual acumen. Number three. What is the third platform for accessing the power of God? One, we said encounters, particularly encounter with the spirit of power. Number two, power that is released through knowledge understanding of scripture and the mysteries of the kingdom number three power that is accessed through covenant alignment with anointed vessels the third dimension of power don't assume you understand what i'm saying is power that is accessed by coming into covenant alignment with careers of spiritual power careers of the anointing in Philippians 1 and verse 7, popular scripture, Philippians chapter 1 and verse 7, the last sentence there says, Ye all are partakers of my grace. Paul did not say, Ye all are partakers of the grace or his grace. He knows that it all belongs to him, but with respect to what he was teaching, he said, It is grace given to me, but you can be partakers of it. Ye all are partakers of my grace. There is power that is accessed through genuine connection, covenant alignment with men and women that have been so trusted by this grace from God. It is true. There are dimensions in the spirit that God will mandate that you receive and function in by reason of your connection with certain men and women that have become carriers of grace. 
in as much as the same Lord is rich unto all and ultimately the Spirit of God is the giver of all but God has so distributed this or he has so designed this system in his kingdom there are levels of spiritual power you can never access in isolation to certain graces that God has put within your life within a territory and largely speaking within the body of Christ grace every time I have the privilege of going to minister in a nation or in a church especially if I'm preaching for any of the fathers I don't just prepare the sermon among the many things I prepare I also prepare my heart and I try to study by the Spirit and through experience and through scripture the various graces that are at work in the life of those individuals so that on one hand as I go to bless them by the privilege God has given me on another hand my heart is open to receive what grace do they carry what standing do they have with God let me submit to you my dear people please listen to me there are men who have a standing with God there are men who God has covenanted and sworn by his name over their lives they have a standing with God there are men who have become the friend of God truly there are men on earth who are friends of God they are not just children of God that is wonderful but by reason of relationship and intimacy they have come to a point where God can call them friends shall I hide these from my friend Abraham seeing that he shall be a mighty man one of the proof of friendship is that you are not afraid of opening anything including secrets when someone is your friend you can open even things that are not privy to everybody and say this is it you are my friend hallelujah there are deep things that even though everything is with respect to scripture you have to get to a stage and a level with God where God will show you certain things that make for national impact territorial impact across regions and continents you can be a friend of God and that comes through living a life that desires to please him completely you can be the friend of God there are people who have a stand with God that means you can tap into their work with God and experience certain possibilities that your personal spiritual level has not yet gotten you to the level that you should have I, I, do you understand what I just said that means based on your personal spiritual level some of these results and possibilities should not be happening in your life but you can tap into their grace their covenant and their work with God and you will find yourself manifesting possibilities that are far higher than your personal level of spiritual growth even before you enter it it's true it's true I have seen people carry graces I have seen people manifest possibilities that when you vet them scripturally their level of intelligence and spiritual acumen has not gotten them to the point where they should be commanding that level of result but they have been able to align through understanding humility meekness genuine covenant connection I'll give you an instance Elisha there is no record of Elisha being personally and meticulously trained by Elijah we know that the sons of the prophet were the ones who were being trained by Elijah Elisha poured water in the hands of Elijah that means when he was going for his lecture he would serve him and wait and allow him to teach the sons of the prophet so based on his level of renewal based on his level of um, uh, what do we call it now maybe his, his his level of spiritual transition he could not have even received that anointing not to talk about a double portion I'm sure that's why the sons of the prophet were very casual because they knew that this guy was only wasting his time but he stood there with hunger and he says all right you desire this you have used honor you have used submission you have used genuine connection if you can see me as I'm taking 
and that mantle came upon him and the sons of the prophet testified they said the spirit of Elijah doth rest upon Elijah another example when Jesus sent the disciples two by two and sent them seven by seven I hope you know the Holy Ghost had not come upon them yet they were not saved none of them was born again because Jesus had not been glorified there was nowhere they would have been saved because Jesus had to die and to resurrect by the glory of the Father for anyone to be saved so they just went with his word under his covering and as they went to preach the Bible says they returned rejoicing they marveled because they didn't feel anything there was nothing around their life that should produce that result they said even the demons were subject to us by thy name and he said do not rejoice because of the issue of demons rejoice rather that your names will be written in the in 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 heaven that should be the basis of your joy it is possible to come under a ministry like this and while you are still learning the principles of prosperity while you are still learning the principles of dominion you can genuinely come under this grace and start seeing certain results happen in your life even before you get to that realm there are people who have entered that realm already you will see that if you ask them and say defend these workings of the spirit they will tell you sincerely i am still growing however because of their covenant connection with understanding you have heard me tell you my precious people fans there is no inheritance for fans I am a fan of this I mm -mm. there is no inheritance for well-wishers it is people who connect with understanding hallelujah you look for instance at a ministry respectfully speaking like redeemed our father in the lord baba deboe and you see the spread of redeemed globally let me submit to you you will be joking to believe that that spread is just an independent reflection of every of the branch or every of the pastor's personal work with god it will be a joke there are certain things you see that is a product of a corporate grace moving people together are we together you can step into certain graces and begin to prosper even while you are learning people will see you and they will mistaken you they will even say listen come and teach us about wealth and prosperity and you say listen i will only embarrass myself i'm still learning it's just the grace of god that is at work in me some of these graces are activated through the power of prophetic speakings like when they speak over you like you're about to receive this night you see as you receive it with understanding the realm of the spirit responds to the fact that you received it listen when he said by this time tomorrow he did not have to wait for everybody in samaria one by one to believe people just sat down and by the next day they were eating well under the corporate grace of a prophet Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.